What? If you post it, don't cut it, bro. No, I won't. I promise. You promise. I promise. Hey, no, because yeah. I love it. It's entertaining beyond yeah. belief, and I love you, buddy. Yes, I you, love man. you, it, it, and I love you here, and you've been amazing. Because what we man. need is the positivity. Indeed, but buddy. yes, there are differences in people. I hate to say it. So much. And bro. it is not racial. It is it not is no, no, no. racial. Exactly. It is. Uh, it there is, is no color left. Cultural, baby. It's where you grew up. Oh, baby. And you're happy about it. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Jeez, you're fucking happy. Right? Get the fuck out of here. I'm supposed to pick up some pho. I just ordered it. We didn't want to leave Charlie alone in the car. And the situation is this. So it's been over 10 minutes. They said 10 minutes. Are they just going to let it sit there? She's been taking a long time in King Supers. And. You can see Silver Mine Subs, Metro Urgent Care. All those par all that parking was for Med Metro Urgent Care. There's a Muslim lady walking out of that. King Supers. There's a lot of Muslims here these days. Okay, there she is. She has a couple bags of groceries. Can you see her? I think this hair. Well, it doesn't look that bad. I like to keep it longer. The the hairstylist, she just kept cutting. And then you kind of get relaxed. It's almost like getting a massage. And it's like, if they want to keep, uh, go ahead. Just shave it. Just keep cutting it. But but then you get out of there and you're like, oh, they took off way, they took off way too much. Okay, she's here now. I'm going to go get the, the meal. There's Charlie. They couldn't make it? They want me to make it? Huh? The, the, the steak's not even cooked. It is? Augustus Johnston here. It's a pleasure. I'm sorry about my hair. You, you, many of you, if, if you watched the last video, know that I went to get my cut hair. And <clears throat> you get there and they start cutting and it's, it's sort of relaxing. So you just... A lot of times you just let them keep cutting, even though they're like, okay, why are they still cutting them? Looks short enough. She just kept going. I don't know. I used to get a cut like this a long time ago when I was younger. But then I got older and I thought I'd do a more, you know, sophisticated, you know, longer on the sides. And uh, it's... So I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. It looks like I'm trying to be like a, a kid or something. So the situation is this. Debbie Wasserman Schultz won her re-election campaign. This is in Florida, Miami, <clears throat> Dade County, Broward County. And uh, she's a sick, sick individual. And uh, she was forced to step down from the Democratic National Committee, head of the Democratic National Committee, because of what they did in light of Bernie Sanders. And I don't know how she just keeps winning because people go, people vote without having the the knowledge. They just go, they go in there and they um they see a D next to the person's name and Democrat. Oh, I know that name and then they just vote for him. You see it in the media, you see it out in the public. Everyone is always trying to get people to vote. You need to vote. You need to vote. And I, I would say do, don't do that. Don't say you need to vote. Say Hey, you need to read an article. Hey, you need to read up on your uh, representative. Read some articles. And maybe, just maybe, if you think you know enough, go in and vote. <clears throat> but it's because there's no way that she would win. That Tim Canova was in the race there. He was on the James Dore show many times, Jimmy Dore. And uh, great person fighting for all the right things, Medicare for all, higher minimum wage, etc. And the guy gets 5% of the vote. So people just, they're not paying attention. And it's, it's a lot easier to pay attention with the internet. All the information's there, and it's, so it's just laziness. So, you know, that's, that's horrible. So I'm in Denver, and my representative is Diana DeGette, and she's not great either. 
but at least I saw that she signed on for the Medicare for all. I don't. I, I guess I want I, health insurance. I don't. I I need dental and f for sure my teeth are, they're just falling out, horrible teeth. <clears throat> I've got another pain over here. This one. Horrible teeth. So I will say this. Vote only if you feel like... Read five articles on your representative, what's going on, and then vote. That would be my rule of thumb. Because you just... you People are sickening. You just keep voting in these people like Dianne Feinstein. Just keep... You keep voting in these corrupt politicians. You Just because a person is a Democrat, people should know by now, doesn't mean that they're not corrupt. You know, we all grew up with the mentality the Democrats are the good guys, the Republicans are the bad guys. No, they're both bad guys. And in some cases, the Democrat is, you, you almost can't tell the difference between that person and the Republican. Yeah, in general, they're a little better. So I hope that you'll do better next time. Charlie just went to the bathroom um, along the sidewalk, just right over there. And number two, and I didn't have a bag because I get... I was told he went this morning, so, you know, I I just left it there, but I memorized where it was. I'm going to go back with a bag later to, to retrieve it. It's really pulling me along here. Okay, there's a woman. She's doing laundry. Charlie, you want to walk over that way? She's got her hamper there. Which way? He's examining something. He's, he, I guess he hears somebody's hammering something in the distance over there. Or maybe he hears squirrels too. Okay, he's decided to go this way. There's a pumpkin still out over there. Is it a jack o' lantern? Something's carved into a, into a great job. Okay, we are going toward the lady with the hamper. Although this is the this is the further laundry facility. I don't know if there's more than two, but I always use obviously the one closer to our apartment. Although I think this one has more washers. Yeah, this one has more washers. Okay, where to? Yeah, so the Democrats, as we were talking about, they, they won back the House of Representatives and they actually lost seats in the Senate. And uh, as Jimmy Dore was saying, you know, usually it's Cenk Yingir, who's who has the uh, correct predictions. This time he was wrong. He predicted huge gains in the House of Representatives. Did not happen. And uh, it was Jimmy Dore that said that uh, the, he kept saying there's going to be mixed results and that's what happened because I don't even I don't do I, I I'm the only reason why I'm happy that the Democrats won back the House of Representatives is there now it's um Trump doesn't have unchecked power you know the, so the, the very worst uh, legislation that he wants to like the tax cuts maybe they'll stop him from but you you can't even count on that it just so it's almost like it doesn't matter but what I do like voting on is the propositions. I don't know. I guess they don't get as many in other states, but we get to vote on so much here. The propositions, the initiatives, the constitutional amendments. So th that's kind of fun. And, and the people tend to vote, uh, as far as the, that stuff is concerned, they tend to pick the more often than... They never, they never do a tax increase to help schools. They're wrong about that. Or, or roads or something. But everything else, they generally get it right. Okay, now he's looking at a bush.
Please remember to subscribe, and hit the dislike button at the bottom of the page.